guys and welcome back to Destiny Speaks. Listen, I just wanted to come and share some things with you um, that I come across while I was reading the word. I was in the book of Numbers, the 11th chapter, and here the children of Israel have left Egypt and they are on their way to their promise. And the Bible says that the mixed multitude, um, because people joined themselves as with Israel, some of them left Egypt with them, and these are people who um, probably were, I don't know, maybe uh, servants in their house or what have you, but um, as they were traveling on their way to the promise, God, the Bible says that the mixed multitude began to complain. Amen. The mixed multitude began to complain and the children of Israel heard them. And so they too began to complain. And they were saying, you know what? We, um, we, when we were in Egypt, we had this and we had that. And, you know, we had meat and we had all these things. And so now they're upset because they are starting to desire the things that they left that God brought them out of. So I just wanted to tell you today that you have to be careful of what you allow to connect with you. You know, what you connect connect yourself to. A lot of times what we connect ourselves to will cause us to, to desire things that God says we're not ready for or that we just can't have. But when you're spending time with the Lord, then you're not desiring the things of the world. You see, people want to walk with you. There were The mixed multitude wanted to walk with the children of Israel because they knew that they were on their way to their promise. They knew that they were um, going to be successful and people see you and they know that you're going somewhere. Somewhere. So they want to walk with you. But God, the promise is not for them. The promise is for you. So you have to be careful that they don't influence you. You're not influenced by the world. We influence the world. We're supposed to influence the world. So don't get caught up in what's going on with the world. You know, the, the, in the um, in this chapter, the book of Numbers, 11th chapter, the Lord had been providing for the children of Israel. He was giving them everything they needed. Every morning, he was raining down manna, so they had food to eat. They didn't have anything to worry about, sort of like you, you know. The Lord is providing for you. You have what you need in your life, but you're looking at the world because you're spending so much time in the world with the things of the world. You're now looking at the world, and you're desiring those things. You know, you walk, for, for example, you walk out of your house in the morning, and the sun is shining, or maybe it's raining, but it's okay because you have life, health, and strength in your body. You've got a job to go to, your family's okay, but maybe along your way you meet somebody who, you know, starts walking the same direction that you're walking in, and they begin to complain. They're complaining because it's too hot. The sun is shining, and it's too hot. Or maybe it's raining, and they're complaining because it's raining. And now you're starting to complain, and you're saying, well, you know what? It is too hot, and I wish the sun would go down, or I wish it would stop raining. But you know what? God is so good to us, and he we have to learn how to trust him and wait on him for the things that he's already told us that we could have. Listen, the children of Israel had a promise. God had already promised them the land of milk and honey. So when they get there, everything that they need, won't, or desire, could even imagine is there waiting on them. But they were not trusting in God. They were listening to what those around them were saying, and now they're starting to desire things that God said they're not ready for. And the Bible says that the anger of the Lord Lord was greatly kindled against them because God wants us to trust him. He had done so many things. He brought them out of Egypt. He was giving them food. They didn't have to work for it. And yet and still, they're still desiring the things of the world. And we don't want to be like that. We don't want, God has brought us out of some things and we are now looking around at all these wonderful blessings that God has given us and we're desiring what it is that he brought us out of or we're wanting something he's, that he's saying we're not ready for yet. We have to learn to trust him. Listen, when he brought the children of Israel out of Egypt, the Bible says that he took them the long way. He didn't take them. There was a shorter route that they could have gone. They could have gone through the land of Gad, but the Bible says this was the land of the Philistines and God knew that they were going to have to fight when they came out of Egypt. So he said he didn't want them to go through Egypt because they would have had to fight and it might have caused them to turn around. God knows what you're ready for. That wilderness experience is just your time of preparation. You're going to still have to fight sometime, but he wanted to prepare the children of Israel for what they were going to face. So the fact that he was not giving them meat, they weren't ready for it. Or he wasn't. it wasn't their time to have it. But because 
because they were complaining and not trusting to trusting God. Guess what? He gave it to them. So you you want to be careful that you're not that, that just because you God has given you something that you've asked for does not mean that He's pleased with you. It means that He knows you don't trust Him and you're complaining. So He went ahead and gave it to them. But the Bible says that. He right, the quail was there for them, and while it was yet in their mouth, while they were yet eating it, the Lord, you know, began to kill them off. So we just want to be sure that we are walking with the Lord, that we're desiring the things that He desires for us. Listen, I don't want anything in my life that God doesn't want for me or that I'm not ready for yet. There may be some things that I'm desiring and God is saying, wait a minute, daughter, you're not ready for that yet. Or I have something so much better for you. Just wait for me. So I don't want, that's my prayer. I don't want anything that God doesn't want for me. Okay, so I just wanted to share that with you today. Maybe you're in a situation where you're looking around and it looks like something's happening over here and nothing's happening for you. Or maybe you're desiring some things. Maybe you're single like I am and you're desiring a husband. But listen, wait on the Lord. Be of good courage and he will strengthen your heart. God has something so special for you. Don't start complaining and start saying, well, you know, when I was dating this, this person or when I was wasn't in the world before I got saved I used to do this and I used to do that and start missing those things because you're on your way to your promise you're on your way to what it is that God said that you can have and I promise you that what it is that God has prepared for you and it's already prepared he's trying to get you to that place what God has prepared for you is greater than anything that you could ever imagine so be careful about what you're connected to. If someone's walking with you and they're causing you to desire some things that you know God said that you can't have or that you know God said wait, then I suggest to you that you get rid of them because the promise is for you. Amen. Listen, this has been Destiny Speaks. Have a blessed, awesome, Holy Ghost filled day. Tell somebody about Jesus. And remember, Destiny Speaks. So what are you saying? Have a blessed day and I'll see you next time.